If only this penny could actually take me to Tomorrowland. Let's see. Nope. Just a damn plain penny. Seriously, no sense of magic. Hello everyone, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and I'm here to review Tomorrowland. So Tomorrowland is written and directed by Brad Bird, also written by Damien Lindelof. Brad Bird and Damien Lindelof wrote this together. And the film stars Brett Robertson, George Clooney, Hugh Laurie, and Raffi Cassidy. So Tomorrowland, I don't want to go too in depth with the plot. I am just going to say this. Brett Robertson mysteriously discovers this pen for when you touch it, it takes you to Tomorrowland. And there's a little something as to why she needs to go to Tomorrowland, but she can't go unless she has George Clooney take her because he's the only way that she'll be able to get to Tomorrowland and see what the whole mystery is about. So going into Tomorrowland, I have to say that I was so excited for this movie. It was by far one of my most anticipated movies of this year. It's my third most anticipated for the summer of 2015. I love the idea. I love the overall concept. And I love the whole marketing for this movie. So it was just one of those movies I just could not wait to see. And I also have really enjoyed Brad Bird's work. I love Ratatouille and The Iron Giant, those two tie as my favorite Brad Bird movies. The Incredibles is awesome. I really enjoy Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol, though I wouldn't say I love that movie like a lot of people do, but I still think it's a freaking awesome movie. And now with Tomorrowland, I was hoping to just have amazing, magical time with it. And I can honestly say that is the case with Tomorrowland. This movie is very original, it's very inventive, and it's very ambitious. I watched this movie and I just couldn't take my eyes off of the screen. Beautiful cinematography, a lot of white shots, especially the moments when I'm looking at Tomorrowland, I was like... There were moments in this movie where I went, wow, just plain, wow. I loved being in this world. I love where the journey was going. It's the journey of going to Tomorrowland that just makes it so awesome. Some people could complain that this is a very slow paced movie and I can understand the case why some people will be bored because the movie does have plenty of slow times but for me I was never bored with Tomorrowland because I cared about these three characters we've been pretty much following throughout most of the movie. George Clooney, Brett Robertson, Rafi Cassidy. I cared about these characters and they all get Give great performances. The three of them give charisma to each of their characters. Brett Robertson is the curious girl who loves NASA. She just really wants to get to Tomorrowland. I really love Brett Robertson in this movie. And George Clooney, it's very refreshing to see him in a Disney movie just because he's done all of these movies where they're like dramas and it's nice to just see the dude take a break and just go into the nice Disney live action form in which he completely nails it as being this grumpy guy who once had hope and now he pretty much lost all of that. And then you have Rafi Cassidy in which I'm not going to go into her character in too much details but I just want to say that she was very charming, she was very adorable, and I just really liked her character. Hugh Laurie, for what he's given in this movie, I thought he did a really good job. The movie has exciting, amazing 
action pieces. There's not a whole lot of them, but when there is the action, it is just so awesome. The score sounds beautiful in this movie. Redbird's direction is really good. A lot of his shots are very wide. He really wanted you to be immersed into this world of Tomorrowland and the journey that these three characters have. The movie also does have a very thought-provoking message about hope for humanity, how the world can go into chaos, and how we can think so many negative things about the world. But instead of us trying to do something to change that, we just keep being negative about it. And it also does show you that you can always have imagination. Never lose your sense of imagination because having hope and being positive is what helps keep the world going, even with all the negative things going on. And I really, really liked how Tomorrowland did that and it made me think a lot when I left the theater. And I also do think most of the humor that was in Tomorrowland was very well done. But there are some problems that I did have with Tomorrowland. One of my problems is that there are a few scenes that felt very out of place. There's a few scenes in Tomorrowland that made me go, um, what? Like, like there's a scene with Catherine Hahn and Keegan-Michael Key. It's good to see both of them in this movie, but this one particular scene without getting into any details just felt very out of place. It had me scratching my head and it just felt rather off. Also, as much as I did enjoy most of the humor in this movie, there were a few times, just a few, where the comedy did feel very forced. There's also these men that are chasing Ruffy Cassidy's character because she's a fugitive. They just popped out of nowhere, and then they smile creepily like... I just saw them as characters that pop out of nowhere to chase after Rafi Cassidy's character and that's really it. I really liked Hugh Laurie. I do like how he was handled, but I do think that there could have been a little more to his character. And then the final problem I did have with Tomorrowland is that there could have been more Tomorrowland. It looks so big. It's full of awe and wonder and whenever it's there, it's awesome but it made me want to see more just because you really did not get enough of it. Overall, I really enjoyed Tomorrowland. This is a movie that had me smiling. I loved being in this world. It's very original, it's creative, it's inventive. I even really enjoyed the third act and I know I'm in the minority with that because that's been getting a lot of criticisms. I love the cinematography. I thought the direction was very well done from Brad Bird. He delivered another home run in my opinion and the performances were all outstanding. So I'm going to give Tomorrowland three out of four stars. So everyone, in the comments down below, let me know, what did you think of Tomorrowland? And tell me, what's your favorite Brad Bird movie? Like I said, for me, it's a tie between Ratatouille and the Iron Giant. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!